We keep finding crazy things when we ask the question, what happens if in Tears of the Kingdom? Like, what happens if you bring a real Bokoblin to Kilton? What happens if you feed weird things to a Frox? What happens if you throw all of the flux construct parts off of the edge? What happens if you glue a horse to another horse? <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because glue. <laughs> and what happens if you actually bring a Korok to the wrong buddy? Here we go. All right, Peter. You know, Kilton <laughs> is hanging out in Terrytown, right? Yeah. And he likes monsters? Yeah. What if you I, bring him I'm a real gonna monster? I'm going to bring him a real Bokoblin. Instead of a picture of a monster. Yeah, no, we're bringing the real deal. Dude, what happens if. Oh, you... gosh. Oh. No. <laughs> You should have a bad weapon in your hand in case you accidentally yeah, hit him. Yeah, I, I should, but I'm not going to do it. <laughs> I, I'm not going to listen to your advice. Hey, Come on, get frozen. His shield. Yeah, he blocked it. Yeah, shield bokoblins are kind of annoying to deal with. You're on your way, though. Terrytown's right there. It's just one big, long, dumb land bridge. Yeah. Can you get him to chase you there? This is going to be hard. No, it's outside of his limit. He won't chase me. Hard as a block of ice. Because he's going to run back to his limit. So I oh, got to like. He's going to try to reset to his. Yep. I got to keep my point. eye on him. I got to stay close. Otherwise, he'll despawn and. St Ooh, a Sunday lion. Ooh. Eh, I don't need it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, I got to refreeze. <gasps> oh, shoot. Ted. I was. I wanted to see if he was going to just stay there. He's oh, not. I can, get him. I can get him. I can get him. You I missed him. I can still get him. No. Oh, okay, I gotta run to catch him. all your work. He's gone. Oh, okay. Hey, that's right. smart. Don't blow him off the edge, though. Yeah, this trick is so good with the fan. It's working perfectly. Just... <laughs> <laughs> that was really close, though. I almost blew him right off the edge. Okay. There we go. Oh, no. One more. You're almost out of freezies. Okay. I don't want to kill him with him either, though. Yeah. <gasps> We're here. Oh! All right. Okay. Now we got him nice and nice and fro- Oh, don't fall in the crack. Yeah, okay. frozen and, and right there. Kilton, I thought you liked <laughs> monsters, you wimp. Oh, I'm afraid now. Kilton, I only he like is a wimp. I only like pictures of monsters. There we go. That's a keeper. <laughs> Picture of Kilton being afraid of his monster And love. you've already got the Bokoblin butt in the background there. Yeah. It's so shiny and nice. <laughs> All right, Peter. What happens if you bring a Korok down into the depths. Ooh. I'm Have you ever tried be, this? I'm guessing it will need to find its friend. <laughs> <laughs> well, Koroks always need to find their friend. You know what would be funny, though, is to then, if he makes it down there... You could do cool things, like feed it to a Frox, maybe? Yeah, or like or talk on. to it. Oh! I figured if it was attached to the machine... Yeah. It would the, oh, a that Frox. That should have worked. What if we feed it a Gliok Thunderhorn? It'll burp. I hope. Come on. Blech. Come on. Get shocked or something. Tulin, don't <laughs> don't interrupt this. Nothing. Okay, okay. <laughs> Here, let's try let's try a couple other things and see if we can get anything interesting to happen. All right, okay. Maybe ice, an fruit. ice fruit. Maybe he'll get fresh breath. Mentos. <laughs> like spearmint gum. <laughs> <laughs> this is an experiment. <laughs> oh. <laughs> come on. Come on. Come on. Get frozen. Uh, Nothing. All right, let's try something else. Okay, muddle bud. Yeah, well, this, I mean, right? Four out of five dentists recommend not chewing on muddle buds. Oh! It worked! We need some enemies nearby. I know, he got po he got muddled, but I'm the only thing he sees. <laughs> is it the same, I wonder, as if you just shoot him? I don't know. Or is it like twice as long? I was not expecting that, and then it worked! <gasps> He's a frog Hinox! That's it! That's what uh... it is! We know what happens if you fall on normal ground, but there's that soft padding that's by the shrines. Oh, yeah. What we happens wanna if you want to see what happens if you like... dive straight into that. It's like pea gravel. Yeah. You know, it's like a leap of faith in Assassin's Creed. Well, I have a guess. You're probably wrong. Nope. Yep, that's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> You know you can pull these guys apart, right? Yes. What that's my favorite way to defeat them. What happens if you throw this piece off the edge? <laughs> that's a great idea. <laughs> yeah. I've never tried that before. Yeah, this is from a comment asked this question. I was like, let's do it. <laughs> that is a great idea. Okay. Good comment. I tried to pull it, and it seemed like it, like, stopped. Let me try again. Pull. Pull. Yeah, well, it's 
I, oh. See, it like won't let me. Oh, I thought it was just time, a time problem. I figured but... a time or maybe distance from the rest of the core of it or something. Yeah, I don't know. Ow. Yeah, or like distance from the spawn point, like the center <laughs> yeah, of the arena. Yeah, okay. Maybe, maybe I can get closer here. <gasps> oh, I feel like it got it, closer. It got further, but I think it's like in relation to where the mass of the thing is. And then it like gets outside of a cycle. How about one of the pieces of it? <gasps> oh, <laughs> yes! <laughs> I'm gonna dismantle him. I'm just oh, gonna, oh no! So one piece at a time, just one piece at a time. <laughs> See you <laughs> later, <laughs> buddy. There you go. I did like fighting him this way too, where instead of just grabbing the green one, you just grab whatever and you keep pulling him apart and eventually he falls apart and you can go attack the green one. You're really getting a lot of them I off. know, I got so many. What? Oh. They're all back. That's cheating. Yeah, he just warped them over. What happens if you attach a horse to another horse's <laughs> cart? <laughs> um, great question. You know, uh, come here on, in the on. basement, we're answering the important <laughs> questions. <laughs> this will work. Let's go. Let's go for a ride. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think that answers that yeah. question. <laughs> It looks quite funny, though. <laughs> Wait, what if we attach the horses directly to each other, though? Well, yeah. All right. Guess what, horses? <laughs> right? right here. Like they look like. No, no, no! Come back! Come back! Come back! Oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> here we go. There we go. Perfect. Just. How about some wheels too? <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, see you later, wheels. Yeah, the horse is trying to get away, but he can't. <laughs> Those horses are going to be bonded forever. They'll never go this. anywhere unless they both agree. Look at hey. this idea. It's a mobile horse <laughs> cannon. <laughs> wow. What happens if we face this off against the talus? It stays upright so well. Yeah, it's because it's got the little upright thingy to help it. Oh, yeah! Dude, then you could just circle them. Although it doesn't seem to be doing any damage. Yeah, we're circling the wagons, but we don't have no wagons. It's because it's shooting also, at- it's like really hard to move, like, it's not moving very well with this horse. It's aiming at the Talus's, uh, sensitive Legs. Hinox region. Frox Guts! Let's see if he'll be a cannibal. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be a good- OH NO! Maybe, <laughs> maybe he'll get twice as fat. <laughs> <laughs> He's got two guts. He's got a two-pack. Alright, come on. Open up! Do your vacuum cleaner deal- there we um. go. Um, he seems to be enjoying it. Maybe that's how they get so big, is they eat each other. Until there's only- only one can remain. There must only be one. There can only be one. I was trying to remember. Did it hurt him? Bananas! <laughs> bananas! Please, sir! Accept these bananas. <laughs> <laughs> what happens if you bring a Korok to the Great Deku Tree? Oh, he'd love that! You'd think! Okay, I just gotta navigate around these trees. You ready for some Minchi skills? Watch my skills, Peter. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, 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 yeah. Boy, that thing's got some. That handles okay. well. All right. Deer. Getting close to the end. This is kind of tedious, but it's worth it. We need to see what happens. He wants to reach his friend. What if the Deku Tree is one of his friends? What if you get a million seeds from this? <laughs> What if you bring all the Koroks to the Deku tree? I am not doing that. <laughs> no matter how much you pay me. That would take, like, the rest of your life. <laughs> that would be very hard to do. You'd run into so many problems. Uh, if you can do it, I don't think you can. You can the bundle them. There are too many, and I we'll think. Pin it. I don't think you could even bundle them all together. You wouldn't be able to get through the forest. Nope. You'd have to do it one at a time. Then they despawn. There'd be no proof that he did it. Do you have close, any? Little buddy. There's no way you don't have any friends here. <laughs> I need to reach my friend. Which one? Yeah, here's the whole community. There's a whole, yeah, it's the whole family. It's the Master Korok. <laughs> Oof! Come on, right there. Yes. Perfect. It's been basking in holy light for 100 years. <laughs> Restoring his energy. <laughs> The master call. Okay, I think I need to bring him up 
inside. He's the Korok that seals the darkness. <laughs> Is that the Korok that seals the That's what the next the one's going to be. The next Breath of the Wild style game. Hey, I've got mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> Why, you guys are cooking him? Well, yeah. They're cannibals. They're making their own Korok salad. <laughs> In a in a bowl? Okay, wait. What if we put him on the pedestal and like talk to the Dra Deku tree? Maybe it'll say something. Oh, I see one of my little ones has returned. Thank you for returning them. Nope. Oh. <laughs> Unless great danger is the name of this Korok. Well, I guess <laughs> so we'll have to met, try a different Korok and see if great, he says. You met with great danger. You met with Jake. <laughs> <laughs> you met with Steve. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> give me something good. Come Look, on, Hestu. I brought you. Whoa! Oh, it's it gone. It disappeared, disappeared. Oh, come on. That's not fair at all. What if I give you a Korok? Maybe he comes back. I never saw a Korok. Oh! Wow. Wow! He just blooped right back. Here's an idea. Bomb bowling. Can you put one on a shield? <gasps> oh! <laughs> yes! That's pretty cool. <laughs> well, I'm gonna put one on a sword. I want both. <laughs> this looks so cool. Can I do this? Can I put that on a sword? Oh, I don't know. I mean, after it's dead, you can. Oh, no. No, it doesn't count as a thing. You could still put a regular block on your sword if you wanted, though. There it is! <laughs> yes! Now I've got both! No, 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 block man! Wait, I have an idea. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna. Now you can have one as a Zonai stored dealy. Yeah, I'm gonna disassemble. Just wait, Peter. You're gonna love this. <laughs> it's gonna become Minecraft. <laughs> Pretty much. I've got a piece. I make my own! <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is so good. It's, it's a spinning image. You can't even tell that it's not the original. <laughs> Wait, that's not the original? I see. Look at him walking around. Oh, he's gonna attack me. He's getting me. He's attacking me. Oh, oh, jeez. I'm gonna bring him with me. <laughs> that stupid book goblin that was freezing. I'm gonna teach him a lesson or two. Oh, yeah. Okay. My giant Aha! robot's gonna get you. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> try again, try again. Ah! Robot Whoa. stand up. <laughs> Robot fall down. <laughs> Robot fall down. <laughs> Just to A Arthur. I will I will kill this guy with this thing <laughs> one way or another. You booped him with his foot. <laughs> <laughs> I love your robot. It's so perfect. You can't even tell the difference. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's oh, in! I oh. got him! Okay. You did All seem right. to like How the about, bananas. Okay, cinnamon breath. Come on, one of these has to do something. I, I mean, we know what happens if you put a bomb in, right? It's like those red hot candies. Yeah, like a fire, like those fire balls or whatever they are. Yeah, a fireball like jawbreaker. Yeah, yes. those are good. They're so cinnamony. Okay. Bright tamale. bloom. Maybe this will make him become a light source. Yeah, maybe his. Uh, oh, oh, ow! What happens if you ride a meat steak all the way down the hill? <laughs> you go I, wee 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 all the way home. I think I know what happens to me and Peter if we do this. Icy meat shield. <laughs> what happens if you take off the Yiga clothes while you're in the Yiga clan hideout? Oh, that's a great idea. All right. Boom, I'm Link. Prepare for battle? Well, I guess it's battle time. Are they gonna... So we're not in the Yiga... Where are we? I don't know. Whoa. Whoa! Are we outside the front? Oh, we're, we're by the... What? It's like a battle. Oh, we're by the pit. Dude, they've got like a health bar. Oh, this, this is, like is a, cool. This okay. is like an actual thing. You're going to die, though. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm amazing at this game. Uh. <clears throat> oh, I don't have a bow. <laughs> Whoa. 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 See, I know what I'm doing. I'm amazing at this game. 
So I guess this is what happens if... Well, you gotta still fight. We gotta see if you can beat this. I can do it. Good job using good weapons. Thank you. Want this guy to... Whoop. Do the win thing. Oh, oh, he killed me. That's what happens if... Oh, uh, Link! <laughs> <laughs> All right, Peter, we've kind of tested this, but oh, I yeah. want to see what actually happens. If you bring a Korok to, to the, the wrong, wrong buddy. buddy. So what we did before is we just took one to a location other than where he wanted to go, but the friend didn't spawn. So what you got to do now is you got to get two guys who need their buddy. Yeah, you got to act to the second one guy. and then bring the other one to the smoke. So now we're there. We're bringing the wrong buddy to the smoke, Peter. So we're this is a new experiment. It's it, we gotta thoroughly test this stuff. We can't just say what happens if and then kind of do it wrong. Well, we did so, though, and so, we got a lot of views, and people called us clickbait. But we weren't trying to do that. We were trying hey, to answer the we, question. We're we correcting. Failed. We're correct. That was early on when the game was first came out. We didn't know you could do this, and people then commented, said, "No, there's probably a way." And then lo and behold, and then we kept trying, and now and now here we are. So what's going to happen? I don't know. Is he going to accept him as one of his own, or is he going to just not even recognize him at all? He's going to turn into Breath of the Wild 3. I'm waiting here for my friend. He's right there. No. No, your friend's right here. I wonder what happened. Uh, what happened is he got a haircut, and now he looks like this. <laughs> Say anything different? <laughs> nope. No. Oh, come on. And if you talk to the first one, he'll say, I need to find my friend, and then he'll look way the wrong spot. I'm not satisfied with this outcome. Something better needs to happen. Come on. Here, how about we put you right there? Look. See? Korok. See? <laughs> no, you... Ugh. Quit being so picky about friends. You know, Get Ted, cooked. Get cooked, bro. If next Wednesday, <laughs> like, some guy named Scott came over and he's like, you ready to record? I'd be like, all right. Oh, well. <laughs> I wouldn't say, I need to find my friend. <laughs> Although if you tried going to someone else's house and say, ready to record, that might not work very They'd well. They'd be like, uh, what? And I'd be like, Excuse but me? I need to find my friend. <laughs> we answered a few interesting what if questions about Tears of the Kingdom today. Here's more what if questions that we answered in a different video. We'll see you over there in the basement. <laughs>